in there. Oh, yeah, you guys are gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> So I started the business when the children were very small. I started making embroideries and little screen prints at home during my downtime. So I started making these little presents, if you like, for my friends. And then it just made myself a little website and off we went. I never not get a high from making a sale from somebody saying, I'm gonna actually pop that in the cart and I'm gonna buy that. There are many lows, there are so many lows. There are times when I think to myself, oh, I'm just too tired. And then I think, no, anybody else would give up, you can't give up, just keep going. So they need less of my time, but they still need me to be here. They need my supervision, when they've got exams, when they've got schoolwork, when they're stressed, they really need, I think they need me and their dad to be in the house. Yeah, that's okay. Hopefully I spend Mother's Day in my bed. <laughs> I, love, I, I, I love being pampered in bed. I want the coffee, I want the dog, I want breakfast in bed. I just, I would like all the children and everyone to come into the bed to celebrate Mother's Day. There, there's a lot of self-doubt when you run your own business. I always come back to a safe place of saying, I like it, it's okay. My children do especially love the time that I was trying to make them eat brown bread with loads of grain. We're not eating that! So I made them a Vegemite sandwich and I said, there, there's your lunch. I thought it's <laughs> And it's stuck to the roof. So that, 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 their eating habits make me, send me insane. I, I could literally make a career of looking at my phone. Motherhood is everything for birds. Does that sound really psycho? <laughs> If it makes me sound like an axe murderer, can you take it out? <laughs>